Eight years after what happened in Delhi, where Nirbhaya was concerned, another Nirbhaya-like incident, worse brutalities, has been reported in Uttar Pradesh. Now, this also focuses on the lawlessness and the police failure, where a 50-year-old woman was gang-raped, murdered, brutalized in Uttar Pradesh. The accused, the prime accused, a priest, is absconding and the station house officer has been suspended. That's it. Just the SHO being suspended. And the biggest lapse of it all, viewers, is the fact that it took 32 hours for the police to register an FIR. If that's not all, it took all of 34 hours for the police to send the victim's body for autopsy. Has anything changed at all? From Nirbhaya to Hathras to now Badayun, where a 50 year old woman was gang raped, brutalized, and murdered. Her injuries reportedly far worse than Nirbhaya's. She was an Anganwadi worker. On Sunday, 6 p.m., she went to the village temple. She never returned. Her son kept calling on her mobile. After 7 p.m., her phone was switched off. At 11 p.m., the local priest of the temple with two helpers came to her house with her body. They told the family she died after accidentally falling into the well. They left her unclothed, brutalized body. The son informed the police, but the police did not investigate. On Monday, the cops came to the victim's residence, took the body, but neither did the police lodge an FIR, nor did they send the body for post-mortem. <laughs> Meanwhile, the priest, who openly spoke to the media on Sunday, has since gone missing. The post-mortem report confirmed the family's charge of gang rape. It also detailed the brutalities she was subjected to. With sharp objects inserted into her private parts, excessive damage to her internal organs. An anal wound, fractured ribs, perforated lungs, fractured legs. Till now, two accused have been arrested. However, the main accused, the priest, along with two others, are absconding. Under pressure, the SHO has been suspended. Politics, meanwhile, has exploded. Priyanka Gandhi tweeted out on the crimes against women in the state of Uttar Pradesh. While the state's chief minister, Yogi Adityanath, promised immediate action. But away from the politics, away from the lip service, the collateral in the power slugfest have always been the women of the state, of the country. Bureau Report, India Today.